All right, welcome back to day two. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already seen the first video, please go back and watch that because it's an absolute prerequisite. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about bidding strategy. And as usual, uh, joining me is my business partner and our company's chief strategist, John Moran. John, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so uh, bidding strategy. It would take us 300 million years to learn bidding strategy, right? Which we don't want to do right now. It's, yeah. We want to explain to business owners how to go into their campaign and check their bidding strategy to make sure that the ad manager has set it up properly. How do we do that? All right, perfect. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. And again, you're going to see an actual client's campaign, but it's been blurred out for their privacy. Um, the first thing that you want to do is go to your all campaigns tab and all campaigns tab is right here at the top and just make sure you're selecting the campaigns with a little home icon here. Um, after that, navigate over to your columns button. And when you click on columns, click modify columns. And then under the attributes tab, you'll see a, um, a selection for bid strategy type. When you click on bid strategy type, uh, over on the right hand side, I'll add it to this column, but you can grab it down here on that little uh, hamburger menu and then bring that up. Um, and so what we want to do is take the bid strategy type, bring it up, bring it up to the front. Uh, and that's easiest to identify since it's not all the way over to the right. You can kind of see which campaign has which bid strategy type. Now, once it's been added, um, I'm going to kind of open up the column so you can see it in its entirety. But what you'll notice here is that we use um, a myriad of different bid strategy types. It's all going to be dependent upon the goal or what the campaign type is. Um, for example, the only campaign bid strategy that you can have for smart shopping is maximize conversion value, but you get to choose a ROAS goal. And that's something that is going to be probably for uh, another deep dive video because it just is too long to explain. But what you want to make sure is that your campaign is using, you know, different bid strategy types. Um, each campaign is going to have its own set of goals. You know, one might be focusing on lead generation. One might be focusing on, uh, you know, a lead magnet download. One might be focusing on, you know, quiz completions. One might be focusing on uh, contact forms if it's remarketing. So depending upon what your goal is for that campaign, you should be having a, a, a good mix and match of bid strategy types. Um, so we always use um, you know, the appropriate one for, for each campaign that is going to deliver us the best results for what that campaign is, is trying to achieve. And John, are you changing the strategy types based off of what's happening with the campaign? Like how often does that, does that change? Yeah, we normally will start off with manual CPC with enhanced CPC enabled. That's, that's what you see here. This one is the best to gain a real complete control over your campaign and set the bids where you want based on the subject matter experts opinion of what is the most valuable. So you'll have keywords that are a little bit more top of the funnel, a little bit less valuable, and you want to set your bids a little bit low. And then you have some of your bottom keywords that are, you know, saying like, uh, if you have a, a salon, like hair care salon near me, that one's a really good keyword. You want to have control over that keyword and, and increase it. And then once you find out what's working and what's not, you can, you know, remove the non-performing keywords, add additional higher performing keywords, and then start to automate that bid strategy because you know your keyword strategy is, is in a good place. Okay, so if I'm a business owner and I just want to test the efficacy of my current agency, I log into my campaign, I look at the strategy type, and I'll, I just want to see diversification. And I'm going to add something to that. You also might want to approach your ad agency manager and just ask them, hey, why are you using this strategy type for this particular campaign? And even though you don't know Google Ads, they should be able to explain it to you. You know, if you can't explain something simply, you don't understand it well enough. Mm -hmm. So the way John just explained uh, manual CPC with enhanced enabled, uh, they should be able to explain to you what they're using and why. And if they can't do that, that's probably a red flag. They should have a plan for the future. Um, if you have a campaign that's not performing and you look at your bid strategy type and it says maximize conversions, well, maximize conversions is a saturation effect, which is just going after the bottom of the funnel, the cheapest and the lowest cost conversions, which usually have a bad lead generation, uh, uh, lead quality uh, uh, score, really. I mean, you're, if you're having a bunch of bad leads coming in and you look and see maximize conversions, you should be able to go to your ads manager and say, hey, why are we using this, uh, this bidding strategy? Should we use something else? And they should have a pretty defensible uh, explanation as to why. Okay, this is great. So once you've done that, um, you've now been able to vet your bidding strategy. Join us next time. The very next video is gonna be on campaign structure, which is gonna get, uh, I think, pretty interesting. And we honestly would love to hear from you. So if the videos that we're providing you, if this is of value, let us know. If you have some questions about bid strategy, let us know. And if you want us to evaluate the campaign, let us know. We're doing this to earn your business. We want to really earn your trust and hopefully this is the right way to do it. But uh, in the interim, thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.